Hi, I'm Vicki Odell, the Creative Goddess, and I have a great project for you to make for lots of the people on your holiday gift list. This is a great project for um, the moms and the sisters and the friends, and even as a hostess gift for the parties that you might go to this weekend. What we're making is a uh, crocheted dishcloth. We're using buttons from buttonsgaloreandmore.com, and we're using 100% cotton yarn from Burnett. I use an eye size crochet hook. I have 30 chain stitches and I'm just double crocheting. The way I find out, because I don't want to count <laughs> if this washcloth is square, is that I kind of fold it like this. And as you can see, I have a ways to go before this one's square. But I'll set that aside and show you this one that I do have finished. And what I've done here is I've taken a little button and I'm going to tie it right on to the corner of this dishcloth and then I'm going to snip the thread. And then what I have here is a way to scrape up egg off of the stove or a little bit of dried stuff that's left on the plate after it's been through the dishwasher. You can just use the edge of the button, scrape it off and put it back in for another run. Now to show you how I package this up, I have jars of spiced peach jam that I made this summer and I just folded the cloth into a triangle and I'm going to put it so it looks like it's kind of inside or right so the wrong way and we're going to put it like that and tie it closed with some tulle or ribbon that you can get in lots of different craft stores and I cut off about five feet of it then what I'm going to do is make a few loops with it three or four loops whatever you end up with and I cut another small section. Let me move this jar out of the way here. And I'm just going to tie a knot. Then I want to go back in with my scissors and cut all of those loops loose. So I'm really making just sort of a tool pom-pom. I cut those loose so that it's all kind of fluffy you can go back in when you get this done and cut it so it's you know kind of all even and level like I did on that one or you can just leave it wild and crazy. Easy as that, bring the jar back in and I take the long pieces that I tied the knot with when I can find them <laughs> and I put that here tie it around the jar and I have a great little gift for lots of people on my list and hostesses for the parties that we go to this winter. I hope you enjoyed this craft. My name is Vicki Odell, the creative goddess. Please be sure to visit me at VickiOdell.com and don't forget to take time to delight in a creative life.